Hey there Aquarius, I hope you guys are doing really well. I want to go ahead and get into your reading for the, well I want to say the first part of July 2021, but as of this time I think it's like the 13th or the 15th or something, I can't remember the date right now. Um, it's not the beginning of July, it's like almost the middle. Um, I appreciate your your patience in me getting moved, I'm finally moved now. Marcel and I are on the east coast, so Things are different and better and different, and we're still unpacking. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this reading for you guys, okay? It's been a little while. Show me energy for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, July 2021. So the first card you have coming out here, Aquarius, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, okay, no, I'm doing that. Okay, I'm doing that. So... Is that how it is? No, it's not how that is. It's three. Okay, we're going to do three. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I'm like getting different pictures in my head. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do a nine card spread then. Show me more energy for the sign of Aquarius. You have the Four of Cups. And the Hierophant. More for Aquarius. Show me more for Aquarius, please. Okay, thank you. Ten of Wands. Eight of Wands. Two of Pentacles. More for Aquarius, please. Okay, these are flying out in reverse. We have the Temperance card in reverse here. Nine of Swords in reverse. One more for Aquarius, please. Nine of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, you have the King of Swords, King of Wands, I'm sorry, King of Wands. So let's just sit with this for a minute, Aries. I'm sorry, Aquarius. <laughs> Feels like there's a lot of direction to make something happen, but also, also there's this like pulled back energy, um, a kind of a restricted energy, and I'm not sure if that's one of self protection, over protection, or if it's something that we don't feel that we are ready to experience yet. Um, perhaps we need to get certain things off of our plate before something happens, before we do something about a true commitment towards something. Uh, this can be a tr commitment towards a person. It can also be a commitment to change your life in some certain way or experiencing something completely differently. Um, some of you may indeed be getting communication from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this could be somebody who um, has the, uh, <laughs> what I was going to say was has the nerve. Um, <laughs> 
what is that? Why is that coming out that way? That's so funny. <laughs> well, that would make sense though too, because we do have this like holding things off energy, even though it's something may lead to a commitment. Um, maybe there's been like some sort of this, okay, for some of you, for some of you um, Aquarians, this can literally talk about somebody who maybe liked you and you didn't reciprocate that energy with them, but maybe time will tell or maybe you'll give them an opportunity. This doesn't feel like somebody who's been terrible with you and treacherous and horrible. This feels somebody that might, for some of you in this scenario, this might be a person who maybe you wrote off or weren't interested in in the past. But it's interesting because it's like this person I feel has been persistent enough. For some of you, it's persistent. Trying to make something happen, trying to fix something. And then it's like there's this hold off energy. Okay, so in the past, you're starting out, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this is indicating that there's an opportunity that was presented here from the universe. It's not even necessarily, it could be, you know, from a person for sure. But like, there's something divinely connected to this. The Wheel of Fortune tells me that opportunities that are very positive come into your life at that time. Um, what I do feel also here that I want to mention with the Wheel of Fortune, it deals primarily with fixed energies. So you have Leo, you have um, Taurus, Aquarius, here's your reading, you have Scorpio, you know, we have these fixed energies. So what I'm kind of picking up on this is somebody was very clear in the way that they felt about something or they were very like matter of fact in how they rejected somebody or did not want to be part of this situation. Um, some of you, this may have been a situation that was held up or stalled because of a marriage on somebody's part. Perhaps I do want to say the King of Wands can also talk about somebody who uh, has a partner. Um, you know, so in certain capacities, that may also make sense in regard to this. For some of you, this is also a situation where um, tradition maybe played a certain role in this experience. Perhaps tradition or somebody's belief system or religion um, was challenged by the opportunity of experiencing something with this person just because maybe they're... Um, Maybe they're from a different background. Maybe they're from a different financial bracket. Maybe there is concern that people would talk negatively about a situation. For some of you, if that is the case, I do want to say there is an element here where you flat out don't care anymore. You know, I feel like for that group that I'm talking to, it almost feels like there is a, a level of balance that is restored by you just accepting that you do have connection or feelings for this person versus pushing them away. And that frees you up to experience this in a completely different way. I feel like somebody has been persistent here and not in a negative way, which is funny because something said earlier, they have the nerve to like connect with you again or like pursue this. Okay, so if this is divinely guided, then they are also being nudged and pushed continuously to continue to pursue this. Very interesting reading here, Aquarius. Very unique reading. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, and they've willingly carried this burden here and continue to communicate, um, continue to deal with somebody who is back and forth out of balance with something. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. And I feel that that's weighing on whoever this is, like feeling uncertain or feeling like you can't engage in something because there are like ramifications that may happen or like you're going to hear, hear, you get blowback from people or your community. Very interesting energy. I don't know why this is maybe a group of friends that like don't approve of this person, even though you feel extremely con connected to this person. It's very interesting. So many of my readings are so like cut and dry when it's just like, nope, this person, blah, 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 blah. But this doesn't feel like that. This feels like something that feels very it's like the progression of time. And through that time, something is being slowly unfolded, unveiled, shown and revealed. Um, in this past energy, you have that temperance in reverse. So this is feeling out of balance within the self, but also to piggyback off of this um, Wheel of Fortune energy, 
you know, and perhaps why this person or why you are so persistent in a situation is because you feel like this is the alchemical wedding. This is the, the, the temperance card. This is the alchemical wedding. It is a um, blending of spirits, a blending of souls. It's a unity that can only happen through um, all situations are guided together, but some have much more meaning and resonance with each other than others. And this feels like it's a really big learning period, um, growth period. You know, please don't think of growth periods as negative or arduous or trying or something we don't want to happen, have happen. Growth periods are the rest of your life. Like your entire life is a growth period. So get over it. You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be like blunt or whatever, but like I hear people like get very upset that, oh, I don't want to have to do that. I don't want to have to go through that. I don't want to be burdened by that. Well, you signed up for it, honey. So get fucking used to it. It's happening and it's not going to stop, um, which I feel is why there may have been such a persistent energy with this person. It's very interesting, though, because I feel like somebody's still holding off and they may continue to hold off. You end this with the Nine of Pentacles, so this is still juggling. This could be juggling two people. It also could be juggling two mindsets, you know, we're of two minds about it. And again, I feel like there's this heavy energy of doing something right for the presentation of others, or it's like you're trying to appease others and that goes against yourself, which is frustrating here. And it's like you hang on to it We keep doing it. So let's go ahead and clarify this, okay? I want a different deck to clarify, and I don't know where my little dragons... Oh, I'm, I'm holding my dragons. I'm talking about another deck. That's okay. It's probably in a box somewhere. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and clarify this energy. Let's start out with... Well, let's start out from the beginning. Let's start out from the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Page of Pentacles coming out for this Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius star at the bottom of the deck four of cups here we're, we're being offered something and we're still we're still ignoring it this is even more so indication with the star at the bottom of the deck that this opportunity is considerably for you and somebody is just literally getting in the way of their happiness and it's frustrating like it feels sad like I feel like my somebody just popped my balloon like my little air, my, my happy bubble is gone. It just, I don't know. It just feels like somebody is like withholding themselves so much. And it's, it's unfortunate because it truly feels like it is because of religion or family or approval or, you know, I don't know what that is. Show me the four of cups here for Aquarius. the five of pentacles yeah oh 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 king of cups at the bottom of the deck cancer Pisces, scorpio energy even if it's not that sign collective this is talking about you pushing something away you're putting yourself in the cold with the five of pentacles it's like somebody doesn't recognize the opportunity and the experience that is being presented and they're just shutting it down but they're fucking themselves over i don't i i don't i don't mean to sound like all like I don't know how I sound about this, but like, I feel like I'm watching like a really, really good like soap opera and I'm like on the edge of my seat, you know, like I live for this kind of, it's, it's a weird energy. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm like shocked kind of here just because I'm feeling like, why, why? Because it goes against everything that this person is feeling, like everything this person is feeling. And they like willingly shut something out because of what? Ugh. What? Show me this hierophant. Ugh. Yeah, you tap. You have the ten of cups coming out here. Um, interesting energy. It's just. It's just. I want one more for that. I want one more for the hierophant, please. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Totally interesting. 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 Okay. So. This opportunity could lead you to a very successful and bonded connection, a connection that is um, 
you feel like your hearts are, it's that stupid love. It's that kind of stupid love type energy, okay? Um, you have the sun with the Ten of Cups. Like, that's like a huge, like, people would, as a reader, that is fucking aces right there. That is like everything that people want in this world is right there. There's an opportunity right there. And I'm going to say this out of the gate here, just because you have the King of Wands coming up here. He's right here. Um, what you want, but not doing anything about it. Um, I don't, I, I feel like this person, I feel like this person will continue to persist or pursue here. I don't feel that they're going anywhere. But I feel that there's a problem here. Seven of Swords. This is the problem here. Because you have all of this wonderful energy, and it's the same as I said right here. You have an opportunity that you're being gifted, or whomever this is, perhaps this is somebody that is treating you this way and negating you or dodging you or whatever. Um, you know, there's an element here where we are controlling something so much with the Seven of Swords that we are completely denying the opportunity to even happen. It's in, And this, in its way, this is... Um, self-sabotage but it's also what i want to say here with the seven of swords in this particular collective here my mom used to tell me this as a child i don't know why the fuck she would i was a kid but she would always say beware the self-swindler beware the self-swindler um it's somebody who denies themselves opportunities because of fear my childhood was weird. I had such a weird, outlandish, like totally left of center childhood that all I wanted was normalcy. And so I became a bit restrictive in my own right. Um, I grew up around people who were naked, people who were on drugs, transvestites, homeless people coming into our home and sleeping there for like a week or a year. Um, you know, totally different experience. And because of that, I felt like I had to self-protect and so I don't know why I have to keep telling, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but there's something here for somebody. So I'm going to proceed with telling you about my life a little bit. Sorry if it gets in the way of the reading, but I feel here that there, like, I was so hungry for normalcy and the acceptance of others and how I was viewed that I restricted myself considerably. And I didn't ent engage in a lot of the really fun stuff that was going on around me or emotionally, physically, uh, spiritually expansive stuff because I was so afraid that I had to control it and I didn't let anything in. Beware the self-swindler. Beware the self-swindler. So you're swindling yourself out of an opportunity of a lifetime here for whomever this is concerning. And that 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 is sad to me. It makes me... I legitimately have a lump in my throat right now feeling this reading. Okay, show me this 10 of wands here in this present energy, it feels. You have the two of swords coming out here for the 10 of wands, bottom of the deck, the two of pentacles, two of pentacles here as well, this back and forth out of balance energy. Um, I feel here maybe there is this opportunity to at least express or talk about things versus just completely shutting somebody out, especially if they've been kind and persistent, you know? And maybe this person understands the brevity of this experience. Maybe they understand the, you know, strings attached and maybe that's why they've been, you know, patient in it. But I feel this person in their heart of hearts would like to very much get on the way with things. <laughs> King of Wands, King of Wands. Like this person is like, yeah, we could have done this yesterday, last week, last month, last year. Like this could have been done a while ago, but they're still, they're, they're good. They're good waiting. <sighs> that makes me, if that's the case, that makes me feel a little bit better. But for a lot of you, I'm also feeling like somebody is just like rigidly holding themselves off. I'm experiencing something. 
this this person or you may be communicating that the situation has been very trying on them very difficult for them to deal with you know because of waiting but they still continue show me the eight of wands You have the, the tower here for the Eight of Wands, as well as the uh, Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You end this reading with the Nine of Pentacles. The tower is talking about, um, this could be this person communicating, hey, I really am getting, I really want to go forward. I want to move this forward. It's, it's almost like a persistent energy here. And then we have somebody also denying it. It's like, no, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be part of something. I want to stay single. I want to, you know, it's, it's for whatever reason. It could be because of fear. It could be because whatever. I'm not going to go that far into it. This is a general reading. Show me the two of pentacles here. I don't know. There's some sort of surprise communication or maybe there, there might, there, this may involve some sort of ultimatum here too. I will say that for some of you, this may involve a somewhat of an ultimatum here, okay? Show me the two of pentacles here. Okay. You have the six of pentacles here for the two of pentacles. So um, at least communication will be reciprocal. It's, again, about this new beginning or about a forward movement towards something. Um, perhaps there's uh, two opportunities for somebody here, or perhaps there are we need to figure out two different ways to look at things. Um, I, I, I want to say too, for people who, who are very much on the fence about something because they feel so, uh, I guess, compelled to uphold like family tradition or they are uncomfortable communicating something with your family. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's important that you, you find peace in this because it's you that is affected. Your family will get over things. Your family will come to terms. And if they cannot, so be it. But we do not sacrifice beautiful opportunities that present themselves time and time again. That, is, that within itself is a rarity. And I don't want to like browbeat anybody here, but I just really want to say, understand that sometimes you are given things and you are continually given things because there's a reason for you to have them. There's a reason for you to have them. And by denying that over and over and over again, it's, it's kicking yourself in the dirt, okay? So please have value for yourself if this is your situation and try to see the opportunity for the wonderful potential that it may have, okay? <clears throat> reciprocate it, reciprocate it. That's what I want to say, reciprocate this. Um, show me the uh, show me the temperance card in reverse, please. Okay, so you have a lot here for the temperance card in reverse. You have the three of cups, two of wands, death card, and the six of swords. So, um, <clears throat> the out of balance energy needs to be healed. We have the four of swords at the bottom of the deck. And the time that is taken to figure this out needs to be figured out. We have the Queen of Cups here. I feel like somebody's emotionally worried here. We have the Queen of Cups backed by the Hermit. So deep emotions being figured out. Um, a lot to process here. And I also want to say, too, for some of you who are dealing with a gigantic decision to move forward with this situation, and you are being like, very careful not to step on toes or hurt people's feelings or like disappoint family or somebody. Um, this change or the acceptance of this and the expressing of it will heal you, undoubtedly. It will heal you and open you up to something far greater than you could even experience. But I also understand that <clears throat> if you come from a place of such restriction, you also may be restricted in the way that you process information, okay? So that's nothing against you. It doesn't mean you're bad or you're stupid. It literally means some of us are not given enough tools to manage these types of situations. Some of us are, you know, told time and time again that you need to be a certain way and it gets so far ingrained in you that you don't know how to see past it. And so it's like you're up against a lot of hurdles, internal 
external. It's a lot to process. So for those of you who are dealing with that type of energy, I applaud you and I ask you to challenge yourself even deeper because there's an opportunity here that may be able to change your entire perception of how love actually can exist, okay? Moving past something, wanting something to transform here, um, understanding that this situation, the out of balance only lasts for so long. I feel this is gonna change. I hope this does change. Show me the nine of swords in reverse here. Wow. Two of cups, ace of cups, bottom of the deck. Wow. So thank goodness, because it's telling me that we have a definite like understanding of something emperor here too, under there. We have an understanding of love. We have a healing of love and emotion. Loving, I'm loving that the nine of swords is in reverse with the tower, just because that's kind of like a really big wake up call that comes out of like... <laughs> Not the blue, but like it's a big wake up call and it's it's a change of perception very quickly here. Um, this may be something where it's like we are at least seeing how this flows and moves ahead, but we're still kind of keeping ourselves retracted a little bit. This is good though. This is good. This is at least we're coming to the same page. And this, you know, past, present, future energy. So if this isn't happening yet, this may be coming into your present or your future, I'm sorry, um, for some of you. And for some of you, this has already happened. So, you know, gauge it as you will. If this does not sound like your situation, don't tack it on to yourself because not everybody's experiencing the same thing, okay? I'm picking up on a very specific energy here for some reason. Show me the nine of pentacles here for the sign of uh, Aquarius, please, Aquarius. Wow, 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 okay. So we have the wheel of fortune here. Now, for those of you who do not move forward here and in your heart of hearts you'd like to, we have a lot of regret coming with that decision. And I want to say, I, I want to beat the dead horse one more time. You have the you have the Wheel of Fortune here. It starts in the reading and it ends the reading. So what I'm telling you here, first of all, there is an element of divine guidance here, but also I'm starting to feel that this is starting to wane Okay, it feels like this opportunity may be on its way out or something. And I wanted to, I don't want to try and put more pressure on you, but for somebody here, the decision to regretfully decline this for potentially like keeping this negative cycle going, that's going to be problematic, you know. And it's it's almost kind of what I just said, like this is a divine thing offered to you yet we are unwilling to accept it. So I'm going to go ahead and get some clarifiers here for this just because I want to know. I'm on my fucking edge of my seat with my goddamn glass of Merlot here. Fucking days of our lives, Jesus. All right, show me the Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the two pentacles here. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Somebody that's completely back and forth on everything. The six of wands at the bottom of the deck too. So it's like it's indicated to get away from that. Find peace within the emotions and the mind. But we still have this one more for this. King of pentacles and three of swords in reverse with the five of cups. Ouch. For some of you, this is a situation that will unfortunately be declined for the last time, or it, I feel frustrated for this person just because it's like they tried to stick in there or hang in there. Maybe this is not your situation, but something here feels very sad to me, um, just because with the King of Pentacles, this is an opportunity. Like, Or it could be between a King of Wands and a King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But I'm feeling here that this is something of stability that is not being considered properly. Somebody's back and forth, unable to commit to something. And you have the Three of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups. This is truly ending something. It's Things have gone emotionally out of whack for too long or it's just enough. We're ending it. Five of Cups again. Five of Cups here, bottom of the deck, the overall energy for this twice 
is sadness and one of regret. Wow. Wow. I mean, like, fuck, man. Can you show me a little bit more on, like, why? Why? Show me the... the, uh, the I almost want to say the emperor when I'm talking about the um, wheel of, or the um, hierophant. Show me the hierophant, please. Okay, so you have growing apart, moving in different directions, emotional distance. Now, <clears throat> that could be with a Taurus, and that can also be with somebody who is confronting something, especially if it's like the church, religion, family traditions, um, some sort of community mindset. Um, growing apart from that, perhaps, moving in different directions, creating an emotional distance because it's not emotionally satisfying. It's not emotionally healthy to remain in something like that. Show me the Seven of Swords here. Oh, loyalty, allegiance, fidelity, faithfulness. Oh, oh, I feel that that's in reference to this person here. I'll be quite honest with you, Aquarius. It feels like whoever this is, by continuing to like withdraw, they also deny somebody who's loyal, like loyal and steadfast. This is the worst fucked up reading. It's, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be like flippant about it, but like, this is some fucked up shit. Like, why do people do things like this? Like, and I've heard of people doing things like this, like in real life. Like, why, why do people do things like this? Uh, show me the three of swords. <clears throat> placating someone is trying to appease the other appeasing family tradition religion organization community appeasing placating that by doing that you sacrifice this oh what a harsh 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 lesson for somebody this is a harsh lesson for somebody some of the five of cups. Self-care. Focus on physical and emotional well-being. Hot and cold. Someone is inconsistent with their actions. This is this whole reading. It's more cold, cold, cold. And now it's icy. It's frigid. Um, Self-care. So, you know, you had two roads here. Two of wands. You had two roads, two opportunities to choose. Somebody chose what they chose which is fine. It's a lesson in life. There's change and progress that happens at every pace. There's no fault here. You know, if this is supposed to happen again in this world, you will link up again in your next lives or however you believe. And if some of you don't believe that, well, that's how I believe. Um, I feel like sometimes we, there are a lot of different roads that we can experience in this life. And sometimes we take one that Perhaps we were spiritually intending to take over here, or, you know, perhaps this would have been a different, better, easier route. And through whatever reason, we have chosen to learn the lesson harder. And so we go in a completely different direction, which it's just for growth. There's nothing wrong here. It's not, you're not bad. You're not stupid. It's just for growth. And so we choose a different path that's much more difficult and that's okay. The path has been chosen. Now, on that path, please choose self-care because if you're coming out of a lot of emotional restriction or guilt, shame-based fear and thinking, if that's been your life experience with love or acceptance, um, I will say that it's time to take care of yourself. It's time to try and emotionally heal or not even try, actively heal yourself. Seek out therapy, seek out connection. This is also a therapist here great therapist. Um, seek out connection with people who you can trust um, and be at ease with yourself. Be comfortable with your life and who you are and that's okay. You know, it's all a learning curve. This is just the experience of learning, okay? This is the transient world, all right? No guilt about it. It's just life and it changes and ebbs and flows and it goes in different ways. So I'm going to let this reading go. I hope that this was helpful for some of you. Um, if it was, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you want um, to donate to my channel, there's a link in the description box below. And if you are seeking a personal reading from me, you can reach me at thealtruisticmystic at gmail.com, and I will be in touch with you. 
All right, you guys take care. Bye, Aquarius.